In this video, we're going to talk about this option in the toolbar here called Copy. And you can see if I hover over it, it does tell you a little bit about it here. It says Copy to another subject. This is our example with the uh, operators moving the cage. So here's the load cage. And we might say, well, this guy needs some help here. Maybe the fellow at the back can come in and help him. Okay. So what we want to do is just to add, add this fellow at the back and, and just include him here to, taking the same time. So I'm, first of all, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go to my subjects, edit my subjects. I'm going to add the helper. I'll call him the helper, right? And then we just click on save. We'll assign a color to him. It's going to be the orange color here. And then we're done. So what I want to do is add the helper here this observation here. So what I do is I highlight the, the transaction load cage here. I go to the copy here. And what it will do, it will bring up the other subjects that are available in the study. If you've only got one subject, it's going to, it's going to tell you you need two subjects to be able to assign work to the other person here. So in my case, you can see operator one, two, three, four are here. And then we've added the helper. So one, two, three, four, and the helper are here. So you want to add it to the helper here. We just click on it, click on the OK. And it's made a copy of that transaction. So you can see here load cage performed by the helper. And the times are exactly the same. So if you look at uh, row number 16 here, 29.158 to 40.544 are exactly the same as the original operator doing it. There's 29.158 to 40.544. And they obviously the lapse times are exactly the same as well. So if you want to copy a particular activity, uh, to another operator rather than timing it again, or maybe adding a new operator like I did here, use this copy up here, copy to another subject.